Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in MD102 Microsoft 365 Endpoint Administrator series. In this training video, I will cover the learning path 6, which is Manage Endpoint Security. I will cover the final module of this learning path, Manage Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. If you have missed my previous videos, please do subscribe the channel and watch the playlist on MD102 series. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. The module 4 of this learning path is Manage Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps, which is a Cloud Application Security Broker service or CASB service. The module objectives are exploring the Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps, planning for Microsoft Defender Cloud Apps, and implementing the Microsoft Defender Cloud Apps. So without any further ado, let's get started. Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps is a powerful cloud access security broker service, CASB service, which provides the enhanced security for your cloud services or applications. It offers the visibility, control, and analytics to detect and mitigate the cybersecurity threats in cloud environments. It acts as a proxy between the endpoints, the client endpoints that connect to the cloud applications and the cloud applications. In terms of key features of CASB, number one is visibility. It helps you see what is happening in your cloud services, like which apps are being used and by whom, because this is acting as a proxy and letting all the endpoints getting connected to the cloud applications, it can let you help getting this visibility. Number two is data security. It can protect your sensitive data in the cloud by enforcing the security policies. Next is threat protection. It can detect and defend against the potential cybersecurity threats that are targeting the cloud applications. Next is compliance. We can ensure that the cloud environment or the applications meet the industry standards and regulatory requirements also. In a nutshell, Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps help safeguard your organization's cloud services by giving you the better control, security and monitoring capabilities. Talking about the planning for Microsoft Defender Cloud applications, it is now integrated into Microsoft 365 Defender. We get a unified portal where from we can manage. It offers the security administrators a platform, a unified management portal, and where from the cloud applications can be managed or monitored. This integration will streamline the security tasks and provide the centralized location for managing the security across the cloud applications. The unified management, if I highlight this, then uh, Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps is part of Microsoft 365 Defender portal. It allows you the, uh, as a security admin to manage the security tasks from a single portal. As far as the licensing is concerned, you don't need Microsoft 365 Productivity Suite license to use the Defender for Cloud Apps, but every user protected by this service must have a valid license for it. The administrator roles to configure and manage the Microsoft Defender for Cloud applications, you must be a global administrator or a security administrator in the ENTRA. The requirements for the browser are the Defender for Cloud Apps portal is compatible with most of the web browsers, be it Microsoft Edge, Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Apple Safari. Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps is part of Microsoft 365 Defender that helps in enhancing the security for cloud applications. It secures the cloud applications acting as a proxy in between the endpoints and the apps. It requires some appropriate licensing for users and administrative roles to be assigned to access the platform. 
Talking about implementing the Microsoft Defender for Cloud apps, the steps to implement this Defender for Cloud apps in the 365 Defender portal are you set the instant visibility, protection and governance actions for your applications, number one. Then protect the sensitive information with the data loss prevention policies, DLP. Control the cloud applications with policies. Set up the cloud discovery, the applications discovery. Then deploy conditional access app control for catalog applications, some certain conditions to be met. Then personalize your experience and organize the data according to your requirements. In the next videos, I will cover the practice lab demonstrations of this learning path of MD102. These practice labs will be configuring and deploying the Windows information protection policies through Intune, configuring endpoint uh, security using Intune and configuring the disk encryption using Intune. As far as the cloud app security is concerned, the labs are not part of this program MD102 but in SC200 for Microsoft Information Protection we have the labs available for it which I will do a series shortly on SC400 as well so stay tuned and if you have not subscribed to the channel subscribe to it now to get the latest updates thank you